It's been a challenge, frankly, getting this to work. So, you know, hope people are grateful. But anyway, I think I finally managed to finagle it. Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. The, the capture isn't quite right on this. It's a little bit shaky in that I had to... Normally when I play a game, my software will recognize it immediately and just pick it up. And if that doesn't work, I can I have like a manual override where I can just tell it to capture a window instead. It didn't want to recognize this is either a game or a window. I personally think it's both, but apparently the streaming system says no. So I'm capturing my desktop, but I can't change the resolution. So my desktop windows capture is blown completely out of proportion just to get it to look good on stream. So if something doesn't look quite right, I don't want to hear it. I'm doing what I can. We're starting a new game. We're going to play on normal because I'm not a bitch. But not hard because I am a bit of a bitch. Also, the person supposed to deliver my lunch just ate it and ran away with the food. So that was fun. More importantly, ah, Persia. When last we left, we murdered a vizier and married a relatively funny, competent woman. Now I think I'm running through the streets. Rather empty. Am I still Yuri Lowenthal? Is that the question? Like one thing in the street, you run into it? Come on now. Then he goes around it. That's fair. It's appropriate response. Hopefully everything sounds fine too. If I if I dare alt tab from this game, you guys see my Steam overlay behind it because reasons. I'm being chased by Cthulhu though, so not I'm assuming a direct sequel. The vizier's probably gone. Where'd my magic dagger go? I feel like it would help in this situation. Meanwhile, in the other game... Alright, that was a, that was a transition. It's the eye of the storm. Get it? <laughs> Jokes. This storm shows us no mercy. We shall respond in kind. Well, now, what are you going to do to the storm? Yeah. Close to the wind. You're really showing this storm, huh? There's all this rain. Ready your weapons. Game definitely looks a little better. I'll give it that. This is what? Two? Three years after the first one? Hopefully the combat. I'm, everyone says combat, best part of this game. Vastly improved over the first one. Hard to make it worse, honestly. Although, we're fighting shadowy pigmen? Damn! Damn! Now I know why you wanted me to play this one. I don't even know what she looks like. Apparently, the, I'm assuming, villain of this game? It's just a butt. I'm down with that. Oh, the butt has tits, too. Damn! They're all like weird. I guess they're just wearing helmets. I was gonna say they're demon sort of cowmen. Why do you need to be sultry around them? Kill him. All right. Well, hi. Nice to meet you too. I guess. Jeez. The comment I made about the butt. You be so sensitive about it. Wow. This is flying, flying start so far. Just how god oh god, okay. Button four, great. Okay, well what's button four? I don't why, apparently. Single button to block. Uh button eight. 
It's what? not that. Yeah. No. What is... That's... That's pause? Are you serious? What'd you miss? Uh, this game's a hard one to set up. Can I alter my controls? Because left stick in to pause is just wrong, so... Okay, so gamepad. Up, left... Okay, that all checks out. Walk. Well, I mean... Hold on. How is this gamepad? Alright, whatever. Uh... It doesn't tell me any gamepad specific controls is the problem. Yeah, no, it's... That's... Roll and jump right control... I'm... On a gamepad. I can alter controls. It'd be nice if I knew how, though. So, gamepad. Alright, here we go. This is more like it. Um... Navigating the menu is already a fucking chore. Uh, move forward. Y axis up. A okay, alright, that's all. So walk toggle doesn't exist. I don't think I'll need to walk. Jesus Christ. I can't scroll down in the jump. Button one. Okay. Let's change jump to... Alright, it, it was the correct button. Walling or block? What should the block button be? I think, uh... B is usually dodge roll. X is a usually attack. So I guess block should be... One of the bumpers, right? I'll make it... Yeah, right bumper. Button... Okay, yes. I'm, we're going through these one by one. Alright. Game. Oh, God. Oh, it's so difficult to just navigate to the damn arrow to scroll down on the menu. Alright, sword attack. That's gonna be X. Yes, alright. Grab and second weapon attack. Okay, uh, that's gonna be Y? Sure. Pick up, throw, climb, cancel, rewind, slow down. A lot of stuff map. Oh, no, wait, it's just pick up, throw, climb down, or cancel. Why not use mouse pad and keyboard? Because it's a third person game and I'm not a mongrel. It's gonna be, alright, it was already B. Slow down, rewind time, that's gonna be you. <sighs> Camera look, I'll figure that out later, I guess. Alt view, reset camera. Uh, alright, so reset camera can be you. Yeah, okay. Navigation map, that can be you. Because some monster decided start should be left thumbstick in. Uh, I think those are D-pad, menu, yeah, okay, that's all fair. Alright. We got ourselves a game. Uh, yes, keep them. Okay. Alright. That's a bit better. I seem to recall there was... Oh, okay, so it's just A is dodge roll. When standing still, it's jump? Got it. Alright, alright. That's all fair. Okay, well, come on now. You mi uh, uh, In all seriousness, what you missed, uh, Arg? Really nice butt. Like a real 10 out of 10 butt on screen. I think it had some tits attached to it, but damn, that butt, though. Uh, already forgot the block button. I'm... Okay, right bumper. Aha! Is block as good as it was in the other game? Seems to be. Just stand here wailing. Can I leap... Yeah, oh, I leap away from enemies? What? Okay. If I double tap, I leap away from enemies. Got it. Okay. Single tap, I can go over them and just slash them up. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, okay, he's not, he's not alive. Well. Thanks. Thanks, but up. Uh, does this count as floor water? Is the question. Fuck yeah! Hell yeah! Excellent! Oh, fantastic. Right away. 
Made in 2000s, I'll have you know. I love a good hard rock soundtrack. And yeah, the combat feels way better already. It's like, this is an actual game. Don't have the platforming yet, but we'll get there. I don't, I don't think I need the water at this point. Is it floor water, 7-9? We are in a boat. So we're, it's, we're on the floor of the boat, but it's also seawater we're drinking, so. Might have mentioned before, you need specific items to unlock good in this game. You've mentioned that, yes. I've said, uh, you're the one who requested this game. You can either let me just kind of do my own thing, or if you really want me to find the good ending, shout it out. Well, if you want me to see that ending, you're going to have to point it out if I'm sort of missing it. Hey, you looked way hotter in the cutscene. I mean, next. still pretty... Next? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who said that? Stay alive, but... Okay, well, listen. It's just how God of War started. Makiri counter. Well, I need a katana for that. As you can see, I've just got a large knife. Uh, yeah, Y doesn't do anything. I need a, the double weapons for that one. Does right trigger do anything? Right trigger does nothing. Interesting. That's block. Nice. That, it's a good butt. For your sake, you better hope I don't. That doesn't sound as much like Yuri Lowenthal. Weirdly, it sounds like a. Uh, Rosenthal or Rosenbaum or whatever his name is. I can't, like, dodge over you? Oh, there you go. Is there a way to lock onto her? Camera focus and whatnot. What it. What, oh, Jesus. What is this uh, woman's name for reasons of definitely not Google imaging her later uh, for something to do when I'm lonely at night. Getting wrecked. No, I'm fine. See, I just needed... Okay, I was gonna say, I just needed to get to the cutscene. You know, it's it's a supposed to lose fight, 7-9. See? That's what it looks like when you lose. I did it for education purposes. We are gonna retry. It's also the first fucking, like, real... I, I started this game ten minutes ago, all right? Not even factoring in the, uh, the button reconfiguring. God, what a checkpoint. You love to see it. So, yeah, give me a- oh, not now, Prince, come on. Got, gotta do better than that. Not the time to hump a pole. Find the mortal blade yet? Uh... All right, so that's how I wall run as well. Okay, good to know. This? Did that happen last time? Okay, I'll take it. That was weird. I guess it. Yeah, it did. Okay, I was looking at chat. Arg was talking about the good blade. Well, now the sail's ruined, man. Come on, how are we gonna sail out with that? Well, I mean, she is just kind of hanging out there. That guy was fighting one-on-one -on -one with Honor. Then you went to fucking, you know, gank him. Also, I've played the previous game. At no point was there a one-on-one -on -one fight. It was always a shit show gank fest. A specific item is called the Water Sword. In order to get it, you have to activate nine upgrade pistols that extend. Is food here? My god, food arrived. Our lunch was stolen, so Water Sword sounds lame. You know what? It is a little bit. It's no... It's no mortal blade, let's be fair here. Activate all nine of them, you'll be led to a place where you can get the water sword that allows you to unlock the good ending. Well, I mean... Seems like a lot of effort, so... You will never reach our sword. Let's hope I get it. For your sake, you better hope I don't. In the meantime, uh, I'm gonna pause real quick. I enjoyed these waffle fries courtesy of Not Sponsored Chicken. Come on! Hey, we found the boss fight I'm gonna suck at. Like, I'm just trying to dodge roll around her, for the love of God. 
Let me just block. Attack when there's a free... Or not, you know. I have no time for this. Yeah, he sounds a lot like Travis Touchdown, which is like something... Rosenbaum? It's not Yuri Lowenthal, definitely. No when I say not Yuri Lowenthal, I mean Travis is definitely not Yuri Lowenthal. A lot of blocking in this fight, gotta say. I just kind of... Oh! Mm. What ranked fight is this? Rank T for tutorial. Off to a riveting start, aren't I? Already sponsored by BigFollows.com. Oh, just you wait. I've They've sent me some material to read. I'll read it next time they pop into the chat. But I have some material from BigFollows.com. Real top quality sponsorship material, let me tell you. They're going to love appearing on my channel. Definitely genuine things that they have written that they want me to say about them and are definitely not things I've editorialized. So don't even begin to suspect that. That said, we'll, we'll get to the ads when Big Follow shows up. That's them reminding me that it's time to read the ad. Of course. So. Just want some floor water there, guys. Can I... Okay, no, no floor water for me. That happened. There's your boat water, also known as ocean water. Alright. <laughs> Apparently you can fast forward cutscenes. That's pretty cool. Not something I knew going into this. Where'd we get the sands? I don't know. It's an excellent question, but I can just fast forward cutscenes. That's good, it saves me some time. Okay, well, listen. You gotta stop. Let me get a hit in. I go to block, and then she like finishes her combo, and then just hits me anyway. It's like she doesn't respect the rules of spamming block at all. I will say, the block spam does feel very Sekiro. Run or die. I think I'm doing alright, actually. Seems like block is the correct- oh my god. Block is the correct choice in this situation. I'm certainly doing better. As soon as I let go of block to hit her, she just screams and stabs me in the chest like that. There you go, cutscene. You pick- ow. See, they didn't fix that. You picked up a drop weapon as a secondary weapon. Interesting. When I fail this, I'll do that again. Right after Toki's manages to defeat her. God damn it. I would love to fight for real. Why did they put this at the immediate start of the game if it's like not a supposed to lose style fight? Because I've just learned the controls and it's like, here's a legitimate boss fight you need to win. Gotta get her when she's doing the, the double knife scream move. There it is. Uh, which one's three? I think it's this one. That's definitely Travis Touchdown, right? Like, I'm not just crazy. That's definitely not Yuri Lowenthal and is in fact Travis Touchdown. Like, it, you could... And if it is Yuri Lowenthal, he's doing an excellent Travis Touchdown impersonation. You'll have to do better than that. That could just be from No More Heroes. You call yourself a master swordsman? Yes, I do. Because I've mastered the art of blocking and not screaming to the heavens. Unlike some people in this fight. Let's fight! I think it's Mike Rosenbaum or Rosenthal. 
When did No More Heroes 1 come out? Oh, uh, PS3 Wii era. Ob obviously, it's a joke. It's just, it's crazy. The Empress? It's crazy how clearly Travis... Oh, I lose anyway. I'm so glad that I had to replay that fight like three times just to lose anyway. The island of time. So glad. Had to lose properly, I indeed. Could reach this island. Prince of Maharaja Persia holds there, where one could pass backwards through time. Back through time. Why would I want that? To the birthplace of the sands. Something terrible happened when our army traveled to the Maharaja's palace. Ah, you found the sands of time. Sorry, yes, yeah, Robin Atkin Dows. Uh, and in previous games, Yuri Lowenthal. Yeah, Robin Atkin Dows is um, Travis Touchdown. Must die. I was forced to kill those I fought beside. Those I had loved. But now that is so clearly Travis Touchdown. Because old Rowan Atkin Dows, uh, it's just his normal voice. I'm afraid. Why did No More Heroes 1 come out? 2007, I think? I used the sands themselves to reverse time, making it as if the hourglass was never opened. The beast, the Dahaka, is the guardian of the time. Might have been 2009. It was right around then. Supposed to die. Definitely after this game. Catch you and see to it that you meet your fate. It is better to try. I know I'm talking over this and eating at the same time, but I'm paying attention. Don't worry. Even if you manage to reach the island, you'll still have. The Empress of Time. I will travel back in time and prevent the sands from ever being made. If there are no sands, the Dahaka will have no quarrel with me. Go then, my prince. Hmm. But know this. Your journey will not end well. You cannot change your fate. Yeah, I'm kind of with the old man on this one. No man can. Like, yeah, all right. There's some hardship now because we're fighting over the sands and shit. But if you go back and, like, prevent the sands from ever being made, that seems like more of a hardship than what you're currently going through. Because let's be fair, life's pretty good right now. Not at this... Okay, bad, bad example. Life in great right here. Life was pretty good before this, all right? Mad because I went back in time. I'm gonna go back in time some more so they can't be mad. I'm gonna go back in time to before I went back in time. So that I can't go back in time. That's the best you got. A damn stick. Do you need to sheath the stick? Alright, crow. Fuck you. The best you can do is a stick. I'm not sure I would go stick. I would just kind of barehand it, you know? Try boxing a little bit. Grapples, maybe. Use mouse to move. Oh my, no. Why? Right stick. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm not going to reach over to my mouse every time I need to move the damn camera when I'm playing with a controller. That's why God made controllers. Uh, I suppose I could just keep clicking the stick in if I needed to reset the camera. Oh god, it's so difficult to navigate. The only way I can move up in the command menu... There you go. Is to have that arrow selected. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Is that... Oh. That's just first person. Yeah, okay, well that's gonna be awkward. The best way I can move the camera is to turn and then reset my camera. Great. I might have to fiddle with that off stream in order to get it actually working properly. <laughs> Mortar Blade doesn't look impressive. No, it's a stick. Prince, it's either going back in time and stopping Sans from being created, or being the rest of his life pursued by time guardians. Alright, well, look. 
it's not our fault that, you know, someone came in and fucked with time, all right? All are lost. I will find the one who did this. Maybe in extreme situations I'll have to use the mouse. It seems pretty okay, honestly. The the auto tracking. Or auto camera. Shout out, Prince. Drink some water. I do need some water, but ocean water is, you know... Ocean water is only drinkable if I'm on a boat, obviously. Nope. I stand corrected. Ocean water. Good for you, kids. Really? I, even 7-9 can't argue this is for water. This is the ocean. That's the map. Ooh, we have a map. Damn. Reach the fortress entrance. Alright, well that's nice. Tells me where I am, what I need to do. I was told this is called outside for water. This is called the ocean. Alright. I also explained to you that outside for water is like a lake. Normally speaking. Under normal circumstances, it's a lake or like a river or something. It's just the fucking ocean here. There's your water. Drink water and save game. All right. Now we're getting it. Extra large outside for water. And yeah, it's not my fault the time cops are after me. The fucking vizier is the one who busted open that damn sands of time. And okay, yeah, pursued my whole life by them. A bit annoying, but, you know, hear me out. Won't they keep coming after me if I just, you know, go keep going back in time? Prince Fault or not, Time Guardian doesn't care. I'm just going to call him the Time Cop, because that's way better. Uh, Prince was involved with that whole time tampering shenanigan as such is at fault, too. I mean, yeah, I was involved, but you can go to the, the Time Cop and be like, look, either leave me alone and I promise I won't do it again. Give me, you know, a one-time pass or whatever. Uh, or, you know, I'm going to go back in time and destroy the sands altogether, which will create paradoxes, you'll be out of a job, won't get your sweet pension for being a time cop. Lots of bad things happening. How do I... Can I climb up? Oh, I can't. That, that makes sense. <laughs> Easy enough. Press yeah, for landscape. You mean that? It'd be nice if I could look around in first person. That would be... That'd be nice. Uh, run up a wall. Run towards wall while holding button six. Oh, all right. That's, eh, it's all right, I guess. Not how I would have designed it. Dark Flame, what's up? We're here with Prince of Persia. The fuck is the UI at the top? What do you mean? The UI is, do you mean my health? Like the, the circle that appears when I heal in the top left? Yeah, that's like my circle and my sands, I suppose. Alright, wall running. That's nice and familiar. Okay. Camera tutorial. Yep, for first person camera. Why do I need that? Lord knows. Well, I mean, it's good for precision, right? Does it work? It does work. What a texture. I think that sums up Prince of Persia. Ahem. I suppose if I really wanted to be precise, a first-person camera is pretty useful. Okay. Alrighty. Quickly jump from column, uh, uh movement keys. Oh, okay, I see. Yep. Ah, alright. We'll go around to first-person mode if memory serves. Well, I don't know how just moves every time. Can I, like... Oh, of course. Thanks. Thanks, game. Oh, hey. I totally knew that was there. Um... Ah! There we go. New artwork unlocked. Thank goodness. <clears throat> Original Prince Persia in this game as an Easter egg. Is it? I can't imagine where it would be. Run to the door and... Destroy him. Um... 
Hey, you know what? Maybe I don't want to go through there. Maybe, just maybe. I'm good out here, Mr. Destroy Them. Jeez. Calm your tits. Alright. What is this? Who recorded that? Ah, yes. Improved combat. Honestly, it is. It's faster, snappier. So I can pick up their weapons, you say. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. Neat. If the game told me that, I completely missed it. But, I mean, it seemed like, you know, all the artwork had me with two swords, so I assumed that, you know, I was going to get a second weapon at some point. Run along the wall. Yeah, okay, I mean, we've, we've done this already. There we go. Uh, run along. Yeah, okay. You're gonna have me, you know, jump between. Hey, oh, all right. Stop the intruder. <laughs> Why does he sound like that? <laughs> Such a weird way for him to talk. I can't beat him alone. I can't beat him alone. I miss my insta kills with my sands and everything. Oh, do my weapons have fucking durability? God damn it. All right. Well, that's annoying. I threw a weapon. All right, give me that one. Repair stick. Yep. I don't think my stick is breaking, but the mace I'm picking up definitely is. It's glowing up in the top. Weapon durability. Never good. Okay, yeah. I'm here. I, I did it. As long as the stick is okay. You know, I don't think the stick is going to be around that long. Seven, nine. Strikes me as a maybe, just maybe, that one is going to get replaced. Okay, that was that was impressive. There we go. Okay. Ah. This is not, um... What's the game? It's like Ico, right? Where you've got the stick. It might be Shadow of the Colossus, but it's made by Team Ico. Uh, you got the stick with the fire on it. You can move the torches and whatnot. Bit of additional trivia with the secondary weapons. They have durability and will break eventually, so you have to pick up new ones occasionally. You can also throw them at enemies. I'm not a fan of weapon durability. In my opinion, it doesn't really add anything to the game that I enjoy. Main weapon stick has infinite durability. I think the main weapon will have infinite durability. I don't think the stick's the main weapon. For the majority of the game. And again, sorry I'm eating. My lunch came late. I'm eating non-sponsored chicken, so... It was also a cutscene right goddamn there. Jesus Christ. If our enemy is unarmed, we offer them a sword. Damn. Get fucked. Hit you with a stick. Nice. Can we keep the stick, though? There should be an unlock. You can spider... What? You gain. Oh, spider sword. The ancient sword is common on the island. Use it for a three combo attack. Press XXX to perform the combo. That's what button three is, trust me. Soundtrack's still fucking awesome, though. Gotta give it that. The combat is better. I'll give it that. Maybe I'm what to eat this weekend. Uh, I recommend food. I 
think that's a good good choice. Usually what I go with. Uh, alright, this doesn't feel like the right way to go. Um, It should be, like, I'm kind of with 7-9. It should be a get all the uh, art and you can play with the stick for the whole game. Or some bullshit like that. What does the map say? Well, that was not helpful. Alright, well, um... That... Uh, that branch, maybe? Oh my, I found an awesome pick online. What up? Look for water. I am looking for water as well, among other things. I mean, it seems like it wants me to go here? Based on the camera shift, but then, you know, I climb up here, and I don't know what it wants me to do. Go in previous area. Oh, okay. I was kind of, you know, looking at chat when it showed me where I wanted to go in that fun little cutscene. Ah, yep, right through here. Got it now. There you go, 7 9, there's your water. Parody of Breath of the Wild. It's not floor water, though, it's clearly wall water, so. Alright, well, that one's on me. Tell you what, that one's on me. Remember to hydrate. Cool, I'll drink this milkshake. That counts, right? That totally counts. It's a liquid. Yeah, they traded in their, um, like, classical instruments, so things like lutes and bandoliers and whatnot, for some sick electric guitars! The Crows! Crows turned into... Evil me? Heartless version of me from Kingdom Hearts? What do you bother? Button one, then three, three. So... That combo, is that what you're teaching me? Because that's a great combo. I am aware that that's a great combo. I prefer not kicking away from him, though. Which I think is a double tap with the jump. A single tap, I, like, backflip over him. A double tap, I kick away from him. Which, on this narrow bridge, seems like a bad idea. Well, case in point. <laughs> I meant to do that. Trust me. <laughs> Floor milkshake. It's on my desk, please. All right, well, have fun over there, I guess. I don't know. Oh, this way, okay. I was gonna say, I don't know how you expect me to get over there. Rise up, please. Let us continue this. Uh, hey. Boy, the audio choices in this game, mainly the, the voices, they're a bit weird. Like, no kidding. Where the- oh, over here. Okay, I see. Nope, didn't want that. There we go, okay. Platforming still feels good. So, full marks for that. I want to win with honor. Then why- then why did you run? Also, who are you? What do you mean you want to win with honor? I've never met you before. You're a collection of crows. Why do you have honor? Ah, I can smell your fear from here. I can smell you, apparently. It smells like crows. Doesn't smell good. Can I appreciate how, you know... <laughs> First of all, there's a weird move where I, like, dive down on him. Yeah, that's pretty great. Yeah, that move. Normally, I just, you know, kind of, like, backflip over him. But I think I'm landing on the wall behind him, and I'm getting a sweet dive move like that. All right, well, that happened. It's a murder of crows. 
The ability to kick away is useful if you're fighting many opponents and want someone to get some space. That's true. I can see that. Alright. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> I, I promise I meant to hit the button that let me, you know, run over to him. This guy, he's probably like, boy, combat, this prince has got it, but, you know, that platforming is, uh, bet you wish you could just turn into a crow man and fl- well, shit. That's- I died. Cool. Awesome. I was facing the wrong way. Is this the Atachi boss battle? Should've used Sans. Why don't you, uh, why don't you go drink some 4-water there, 7-9? Come on back in, like, in half an hour or so. You have the move in Sands of Time as well. You can kick away... Oh! Huh. It never really came up, I guess. Can I say their checkpoint system leaves something to be desired? Definitely prefer that in Sands of Time. Hopefully that'll get better. I appreciate fast forwarding the cutscene, by the way. That's a nice little touch. Use the hell out of this guy. Shit, okay, I'm, I'm good. Not dead yet. Ah. So, in uh, the old Sands of Time, I seem to remember that you could, like, with a certain, oh fuck, a certain button prompt, um, you could, like, wield your dagger, and that would, like, slash them and turn them into sand. Is that still a thing in this game? Because that was really useful. I got, like, an insta-kill or two that way. Helped out quite a bit, actually. Uh, checkpoint system can sure use some polishing. Game count in 2004. I remember- oh, You'll fuck. God. Mm. Yep. Uh, the, the platforming. For the most part, feels good, but jumping from pillar to pillar, I could use a better cam- I don't know, I say better camera. And then I remember I have camera controls, they're just awful, because I have to use my mouse. <sighs> Curses. This game came out two consoles, I don't understand why they didn't just port console controls over. Obviously it didn't come out on the Xbox 360, which is what I am using a controller for. But at the same time, it's pretty easy to map a damn controller to an Xbox controller. It's got all the buttons. It has more buttons, actually. Get out of my way. Since I think this the game was originally GameCube. Perhaps you can. It's been a little while since I've played the Prince of Persia games. Eh, maybe. But yeah, no, um, Sands of Time had some decent checkpoints. Maybe, maybe it didn't, and I'm just remembering, you know, the ability to rewind time before I died. But it seemed like, you know, once I got to a new room, if I died in that room, it would just, you know, checkpoint me to the beginning of that room. Which I sure do appreciate. Alright, there we go. Okay. So this time with feeling. Can I rotate? Uh, well, no, I really can't. Alright, that's... I'm just gonna have to sort of hope I'm facing the right direction. There we go. The quick platforming is honestly better, because then I don't have to waste time finagling my way around, seeing if I'm in the right direction or not. Try again. Try again. All right, well, you just knocked me down, the rude son of a bitch. All right, well, got to move towards him that time. You will pay for this transgression. Come on now. Can I get? Can I get you like stuck in the? There we go. All I wanted to do. Uh, 
Uh, boy, the trigger for, like, jumping over him to do that move versus just rolling next to him is a bit sticky. Not sure about GameCube. Prince Persia originally came out on Apple computers. Yeah, but by the time Sands of Time was coming around. Like, Sands of Time is a PlayStation 2 classic. I have it on PlayStation 2, back on my shelf over there. Or in my trunk, rather, over there. You aren't worth my time. I have a game trunk. So, it was definitely on consoles by that point. And even if it wasn't, it definitely was on PS2, so they knew how to map it to a controller. This is Ubisoft we're talking about, alright? They knew what they were doing. They might not anymore, because, you know, they're Ubisoft. But at one point, they certainly knew what they were doing. If it's a fight you want. I think I might die this time. Instead of, you know, just falling to my death. Alright, now come. Uh. Alright, that, that worked, that worked. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go get some water. I'll be right back. Oh, that, that, oh, that worked, okay. I, I knew that would work. Obviously, that's why I did it. Can you, yeah, get up, all right. Thought I was gonna fall and die there. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's checkpoint mid-fight here. Alrighty. Uh, got the strats. Oh, well, alright. If you're just gonna, you know, cheese the system like that, Crow Man, maybe I don't want to fight you. Well, that's some edgy shit. All right, come on now. You know what? Honestly, the fact that it's Travis Touchdown instead of Yuri Lowenthal makes this way better. Because Travis Touchdown would totally say that edgy shit, but no one can take him seriously. So the fact that I'm having to listen to it in Travis Touchdown's voice, meaning I can just laugh at it, totally fine. I'm not going to mind the edgelord shit in this game. This is just fucking Travis Touchdown. Even the game knew. They're like, all right, yeah, just... You went to get your water. We were resetting the fight. You know where he went. Yuri always ate. Excuse me? What do you mean, Yuri always ate? <clears throat> yeah, when I think... When I think Lurry... Bleh, when I think Yuri Lowenthal... Not Lurry Yoenthal, Lurry that guy. The evil Yuri Lowenthal twin. Why do you bother? I think Travis touched him. Oh shit, no wait, that was Johnny Young Bosch, my bad. When I think Johnny Young Bosch, I think, uh... Fuck, hold on. My brain, my, I'm doing nine things at once here. Travis Touchdown is Rowan Atkin Dows, which is this guy. When I think, uh, Johnny Young Bosch, I think Vash the Stampede. When I think Yuri Lowenthal, I think uh, that one guy in Naruto. More important matters to attend to. He was the main character of Naruto, whatever his name was. Ah, uh, terrible jokes. Anyway, why do people watch me? I can't fathom. It's the floor water, right? It's gotta be the floor water. Saw like Yuri on tabletop, and he always had food in his mouth. Ah! You mean the man was hungry? What are you gonna do? God damn it. I just mash A, hoping to, like, proc it, and then he fucking leaps away from him. Okay, God damn numpty. You son of a. Fucking. I hit the button. I swear I hit the button to run along the wall. 
old Rowan Atkin Dow's disagrees, but I swear I hit it. All right, yeah, the quick jumping is honestly preferred. Where'd he go? I thought he was over here. Guess not. Do I just run back? Nope, that ain't... Oh! Sick of this. When do I get my recover from fuck up sand? Because Lord knows I need it. Tell me it's soon after this guy, right? Because we're going to be not making much progress if I have to keep doing this. That one, that one I preferred, because otherwise I've just gone off a fucking cliff. I have more important matters to attend to. All right, good, good first round. You'll love to see it. Okay. All right, damn, I've been going for an hour? It does not feel like that. It feels like it's been, you know, like 40 minutes maybe? Do I suck that bad? I'm still in the beginning. Arg, for some reason, thought this was a good idea for me to play. I imagine I'm ruining his vision. We'll say. You, you weren't kidding about, like, you know, the combat being vastly improved. Giant, swirly, heartless man made of crows, though, ripped straight out of Kingdom Hearts, though, is definitely pretty edgy. Music, as much as I like it, clearly edgy. He's saying some Edgelord shit, but he's Travis Touchdown, so I can't take him seriously, so that's fine. What have you done? Okay. I mean, that was cool, don't get me wrong, but my god. Not the time, Prince. Alright, still pretty good health. Loving it, you love to see it. Not really ruining it. Okay, so I'm glad to know I'm meeting your expectations. I did, I'm not suggesting I have the power to ruin, you know, this game for you that you clearly like so much. I'm suggesting that you clearly had an idea of what would happen in your head when you suggested this game, and I'm afraid I am, you know, subtracting from that idea. Hi again, it's still me. Well, there that is. I would love to be done with this fight. Okay, well. Could play Evil Geniuses too. I have no interest in the Evil Geniuses franchise. The the little like setup games like that, build things, it's just not my thing. Sorry to disappoint you, but it is just unfortunate that it must end this way. What with a fight? It started this way. That would make you lose your mind. Yeah, that's the reason I don't like those games is because I'm terrible at them. There's a lot happening. Oh, hey, I ditched the stick, and now I have two swords. All right. Appreciate it. I'm guessing, yeah, that opened this up over here. Hello, boys! All right, well. Boy, the timer on that door took for fucking ever, didn't it? Curtain tutorial. Run along the wall towards the curtain to slide along. Let's this is new. Oh, look at that. All 
Alright, well. That was easy. Ahem. Uh, what? Hold on. Don't miss out. Protect your photos and videos with 30 days free of Verizon Cloud. Nah, fuck that. It's going about the way I thought it would. Uh, I'm not particularly good at this game either. I mean, yeah, sure. I'm, gl I'm glad to know that uh, you're not... Your, your expectations are kept in check for this. Alright, so that combat was easy. We got a door here with a big old symbol on it. Hmm... Could be this over here. Nope. Sure wasn't. No, that's nothing. Hmm, do I... Nope. Thought I might shatter this window, maybe. That's nothing. Hmm. Up here. This looks climbable. This looks progressy. Aha! The camera change, so I know I'm right. Does the prince ever get a ranged attack? Like, do I get a bow and arrow at some point? So if I see guys like this or crows in the distance, I can just be like, nah, fuck you, and take them out before they're even... something I need to be concerned with combat-wise. I imagine I won't get it in this game by any stretch, but, you know, in future games, like, uh, the next one... And I imagine that's the last one I'm playing, at least for a while. When will I play it? Don't know. I do know what I'm playing after this, though. I don't know how long this game will take me, but I've got a nice... Nice little trip down Nostalgia Lane for me lined up. Uh, that was fortunately available on Good Old Games. Shout out to Good Old Games. Just a saw blade stuck there. Alright. So, we're going to be playing that, uh... Oh, good, this again. I, I so missed... It's not... Hmm. Okay. It's supposed to be going off. It's not water... Okay, the water's not drinkable. Uh, 7-9 would be distraught. That's sealing water. Oh, well. There's some right here. But yeah, it's not actually on my list of things I'll play. Right, um, after this game, it's really just a waiting game until Pokemon Snap comes out. We got the butt again. Give it up for that butt. What a nice butt. Madness. What magic is this? That butt could launch a thousand ships. Um, where am I now? You just kicked me in the face. A game recall. The power lets you turn back time to a period when you were safe. When you're in trouble, press button five to launch the recall power. I don't remember what that is. Button five. Is that right bumper? Okay, uh, chase the girl in black. Past. Well, spoilers, we're in the past. What is button five again? That one. Got it. Okay, I figured it out. It seems I've discovered one of the time-traveling portals the old man spoke of. Ah. Last bit of food over here. So who is this woman? What does she want from us? Why is she trying to get to the past? Is she the time cop that I'm running from? We may never know. Prince never gets bow and arrow. In this game, best you can do is throw secondary weapons at enemies. In fourth Prince version games, Forgotten Sin... You need a psychic who is a djinn. They can do some magic stuff, and in the reboot of this game's just called Prince of Persia, you get somewhat similar sidekick. That's about it. Wasn't the reboot, like, garbage? Like, everyone hated that? 
I seem to remember that was a thing. Oh, good. You know, there's other traps in the world, guys. You don't need spinning pillar of knives every time. I mean, they're effective, clearly. I just got hit by them, but still. Excuse me. I'm looking for a woman in black. I'm getting called by potential spam. Button 2 to throw weapon. Well, we'll see how well that works. Not bad. That's goddamn pretty good, actually. Don't forget Van Damme as your time cop. That's true. Being chased by Jean-Claude Van Damme. Old JCVD himself. I just can't touch myself, right? That's how it works. If I see the past version of myself, I can't interact with him. Otherwise, the universe explodes. <laughs> Circled the whole damn room before we came back to you guys. Game clearly doesn't think very much of you. Oh, combat is so much better! My god. The one-on-one -on -one fights, you know, with that pro guy weren't great, purely because I was on precarious platforms. But goddamn, these group gank fights? Oh my god. Night and day. Bravo. Good job, Prince of Persia. You really came through on that one. The twins. Ah, the twins. trying to pick this up. Move towards an enemy and press A, B, B? Huh. Alright. Well, I'll remember that in the future. Where does it want me to go? Could try up here. That's not a thing, apparently. Climb this pole? Could be something. Camera changed, after all. Nope. Nothing. Alright. Well... Yes, the twins. I get it. The twins from Time Cop. What are you, Kronk? Ah, the poison. Cusco's poison. The poison for Cusco. That poison. The twins. The twins from Crime Cop. The Time Cop movie that had the twins in it. I wasn't thinking you were referring to the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie starring him and Danny DeVito. In which they are twins. Somehow. Then he got pregnant, or that was Junior or something. I don't know. That movie was awful. They were both awful. Why were Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito in so many movies together? Wasn't Schwarzenegger in Death to Smoochie? Like, as a bit, right? Not as, like, a main character like Danny DeVito was. Whee! Alright, well, I hit a button. Something closed. Fuck me, it was that door. Damn it. Ruby wasn't so much as garbage as a standalone game. It would have been a nice average game, uh, but why the fandom hates or doesn't like that game, uh, always trying to be and was marked as a reboot of Prince of Persian games, and it's failed at it spectacularly. Spectacularly. Well, I mean, yeah, from what I heard, it was uh, handled poorly. Like, it just didn't feel right. It focused more on cell shadiness and like it didn't really take anything that Prince of Persia had done and made better and like it didn't run with any of that it just kind of like literally was a revamp of the old game and it's like why make this just updated the old game that was like rotoscoped by two kids in their pajamas for god's sakes That might as well be all that first game is. The old one where you gotta, like, you have an hour to escape. My bad. Don't mind me. The curtains are a nice touch. As far as gameplay innovations go, I can't see it being too important, but it is, you know... In terms of the platforming and moving around, it's a nice touch. Oh, this is where I was when I fought, uh... Crowman McSpooky Face. Okay. Well, that's neat. That's... that's nice. Can I go back up here? Before I, you know, proceed down that way? Nope, not that. Every time, huh, Prince? Alrighty. 
Oh, there are people up here. What's up? There you go, I stole a weapon. And then I cleaved him in half. Damn. This combat's great. As I said, it was a standalone game, it would have been nice, but as a Prince of Persia game and as a reboot, it didn't work. Well, I'd say at least they tried something different, but I don't think they did. It was the same game. I also really don't think it needed a reboot. Maybe like that Bionic Commander game where, um, hey, we have a Switch here. That Bionic Commander game, um, that was basically just a re-release of the classic on the Xbox Live Arcade. Not the 3D one where, like, his wife is his arm or whatever bullshit plot twist happened in that. But, like, you know, a proper game. What do we have up here? The more I go this way, the more I think this is the way I'm actually meant to go. It's not just some, you know, weird fun side thing. I mean, there's this. What do you do? Are you open the... I was just in there, though, so... Mainly, I want to see what this one does over here. Aha! Uh -huh, that opens... God damn it! How do I get up there? I gotta be quick about it. Oh, can I? No, that's not gonna work. Hmm. I could climb that, okay. That saved a bit of time, probably, right? Right? Oh, you son of a... Mm. I'll get you. I will get you, you absolute son. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna wait here on this side of it or whatever. Does it reset while I'm standing on it like this? Yeah, it does. Okay. Go, Prince! I believe in you! Dodge roll to victory! Yes! Alrighty. Okay. Just go this way. I don't really see why this is an issue. Ah, uh, okay. Alrighty. Screen's getting blue, everyone. Alright, now I'm over here. It's not too bad, and alright, what the hell is this? This plot? This is like that more health fountain from the first game. Life upgrade! There we go. As health bar increases, the prince becomes stronger. You love to see it. Um, well, not to put too fine a point on it, but um, oh, okay. I can just. I was gonna say, do you expect me to walk all the way back? I can just leave. Trying something different and doing something different are two separate things, right? They're both very challenging. Ahem. The reboot, for the most part, missed all the stuff that made the original Prince Persia games or these Ubisoft versions great, and the story and characters reboot aren't connected to the other games. Well, that is kind of what a reboot is. You do need to cut some of the stuff out, canon-wise, if you're going to make a reboot. That aside... Yes, trying something different and actually succeeding in something different are... Well... Sands of Time was different from the Prince of Persia games. Really, the only thing they carried over was that you're a prince and you're jumping around. There's platforming involved. 
But they had enough, like, fresh new ideas that they made it work. It doesn't sound like, from what I've heard of the reboot, they had that. They just kind of, like, slapped together a game and said, Yeah, alright, it's kind of Prince of persia -y. You're a prince in Persia, right? That's all you really need. And, uh, shockingly, people didn't go for it. They were like, no, this isn't that great. These are the things from Dragon Age 2. Which, if you've ever played Dragon Age 2, you know I'm right. If you haven't, uh, trust me, I'm right. You throwing shit at me? How dare you, sir? Damn. Cleaved in twain. Reboot, you don't even need- you don't even play as a prince. What the fuck? Who do you play as? How do you fuck that up? It's called Prince of Persia. Oh, we've got this new Mario game here, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. Let me break it down for you. In it, you don't actually play as Mario. You play as a Toad. What, you mean Captain Toad? We did that. No, 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 no. It's a hot new take on the Mario franchise, where you play as a Toad in a first-person shooter. Fires fireballs at people. Specifically, you know, Koopas and Goombas and whatnot. That doesn't sound like a Mario game. It sounds like a weird, gritty first-person shooter starring... Can you fuck off? Captain Toad. No, 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 no. It's Mario. We're gonna make every Mario game like this from now on. Trust me, it'll be great. Kids will love it. Hitman, Agent 47. Thrill as you play as a desk clerk. Huh? Are, are you Agent 47? No, nah, no, nah, new guy, new guy. Oh, are you an assassin? No. What? Why? What possible reason? Uh, it's like, it's in the title. How do you get away with calling it a Prince of Persia game when you're not actually a prince? Do you become the prince at the end, at the very least? It's like Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6. Now, to be fair, 4 is a good game. Ah, uh, it's definitely different from Resident Evil, but it's different in a way that's good. I would argue 5 is still pretty okay. It's not as good as 4, but, you know, it's alright. 6 is a dumpster fire. And not a fun kind of dumpster fire. Where you can, like, you know roast hot dogs and shit. The bad kind. That has all of your important tax documents in it. Alright, I jump up there. I swing around on some lanterns. And then I... go up there? Maybe? We'll see. First I gotta clear the room. Play as some weirdo, not a titular prince from the other games. Uh, your playable character isn't even a prince. As I said, they really missed a lot of stuff from Prince of Persia games and made them great. Not even a prince at the end. I was gonna say, if he at least becomes a prince, that's alright. That's different at the very least, but, you know. That's acceptable, you know. It's how he became a prince. Although, in these games, he's the son of a king, the way most princes become princes. But, you know, hey, maybe if if I were given that script, I'd be like, all right, there's time travel wibbly wobbly shenanigans, and he rigs it so that his father is king from, like, poverty or some shit. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. I forgot I had that now, which is pretty sweet. Oh, it recharges over time, too. It doesn't, I don't have to fucking wait around to smack enemies about to get that back. That's very nice. Good change. I like that change. Four, five, and six made me lose interest in the RE franchise. Really? RE4 is considered one of the greatest games of all time. 
And not wrongly so. I mean, definitely better games have, whoops, existed and come and gone since then. But the influence it had over gaming in general, just the over-the-shoulder action camera, you can't possibly understate it. It was so goddamn influential. In Reboot, time travel or time control is involved either. What the fuck do you do in this game if you're not a prince and it involves no time travel? What the hell's going on? Well, that was... Eh, that worked. And I mean, if you, if you weren't... If what you liked in Resident Evil was the stuff in Mushin, in like 1, 2, and 3, yeah, alright, 4, 5, and 6 are a pretty egregious departure from it. I'll concede that. Yes. Uh, but they're still, you know, 4 and 5, I would argue, are good games. Are they very Resident Evil-y? No. Are they good games? Yes. Oh, I only have tro- okay, got it. You fight an evil god of all things. Well, it's not too awful, I guess. I'm fighting an evil sorceress in this, and before that I fought an evil vizier. Roman and 6 felt more like FPS. Well, they're third, so that's already- I, I don't really get what you're saying. Felt more like a first-person shooter. They very clearly aren't. And then survival horror. Uh, four was... I guess it depends on what your definition of survival horror is. Because I would still argue four is definitely survival horror. You're having to manage your in ammo and uh, move through situations that are definitely dangerous to the protagonist as you're being hunted by, you know... Insane villagers, or a guy with a chainsaw and a bag on his head. It got a bit bad by the end, though, when you're on, like, the military island and everything. Although the regenerators pop in at that point, and those are pretty horrific. It definitely leaned more into the action aspect than the horror aspect, but, you know. I suppose if what you wanted was, uh, more gritting by the skin of your teeth, combat is like a you know, last resort type of thing. That's definitely not Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4, the combat, sort of the main mechanic, which I would argue does not a survival horror make. You don't want combat to be your main sort of purview in the... Evil Within's a good example of, um... I would say what Resident Evil 4 could have been if it leaned more towards the horror survival side than the action side. Combat's very similar in Evil Within 2, but the things you fight are much more horrific, and also, at times, you don't want to be fighting them. You can just sort of sneak around and dodge them, because, you know, they're awful. They're, they will drain your resources that you want to save for the boss fights that you have to fight. Whereas in 4, you know, if you saw a group of enemies, you were fighting them, period. Uh, reboot was a standalone game. Okay, but what actually happens in it if you're not a prince and there's no time travel? Like, what do you do? Are you just jumping around platforms? Is it a platformer? Is it a hack and slash? What's going on in that game? That's what I'm trying to ask at this point. Why? Why would you do that? Trying to run up the thing, not across the damn thing. Jesus. Alright, there we go. Alright, cool. <laughs> Just cleave him in half. So yeah, I get what you mean. Four, five, and six are, uh... More action-y than horror-based. That said, 7 and 8, you know. 7 came out and everyone was like, this is the best Resident Evil in years. Very much got back to the long hallways, suspense-filled tension and whatnot. 8 has, you know, a ridiculously milfy vampire lady, but other than... Well, shit. Other than that, looks very similar to 7. Gameplay-wise, it's like these games, bit of platforming, bit of hack and slash. Eh. 
you could argue, though, that, um, uh, Arg, uh, were it a simply standalone game, it wouldn't have sold nearly as well as developers or sort of, you know, publishers, I suppose, rather. Uh, they're a bit loath to, um, open up the doors to hot new IPs and franchises. So if you come into the door of a publisher's office with your brand new hack and slash platformy style game that, you know, hasn't been established as a successful franchise yet, they're going to look at you like, eh, I don't know about that. If you come in and say, hey, it's another Prince of Persia game, we're rebooting it, they're going to be like, great, Prince of Persia makes money. I don't know who exactly to blame, but I would probably look at the publishers more than anything else. It's entirely possible they ordered a new Prince of Persia game and this new developer is there like, here, this is what you get. Never really played the Prince of Persia games, but, uh, you know, I saw a guy jumping around and beating people up. I made basically that. I do not know the production story behind it. Oh, God, how do I do this? This is a long hallway of bullshit. This is... Yep. Yeah. Roll, you son of a... Okay. <laughs> Made it. You're back. Sans yet? Yes, I do. Full up on Sans, as a matter of fact. I saved my ass a few times there, 7-9. Talking about uh, Resident Evil games and the Prince of Persia reboot. Since I... Oh, for... Okay, well, I timed that. I'm gonna wind that back. I timed that all wrong. Ahem. So anyway, uh, yeah, I do plan on playing Resident Evil Village when it's out. Oh, by a hair. Mistimed that. Do you still have stick? No, I traded them for, as you can see, a sword and an axe. More of a hatchet type thing. I think I got rid of stick in that one, uh, like, cutscene when... Butts McLadyton just kind of showed up and kicked me in the face and I had to steal the spider sword or whatever. So how do I time this? This is precision timing. I want to time it like right about... Oh, fuck me! Oh, well, now that was... I'm just going to go and heal up real quick. All right. It's Ubisoft's fault then. Figures, let them in their time-tested method of ruining good games series ruin Prince of Persia. I don't think it was time-tested by that point. Because, I mean, by the point the Prince of Persia reboot came out, they were still making, like, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and shit, so that was pretty early in Ubisoft's days, right? I cannot get this timing down. Okay, there we go. Made it. Jesus Christ. This is easy. Just navigate around. Great security system there, boys. But McLadyton, wait! She's so sassy. I'd best find that woman. She's probably <laughs> gone for reinforcements. We gonna we gonna deal with these guys? I suppose we will. What the fuck? New enemy type. Oh, I can't jump over you. That's not fair. That's like my gimmick. <laughs> kind of my whole thing. Also, your butt's not nearly as nice. Can you hold still? You infuriating temptress. Damn! He moved! Who'd have thought he could do that? Oh, it's one of these guys. These guys suck. Ha! Take that. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, the throwing weapon combos and everything, those are chef's kiss. That is real solid. Hold six to swing on the bar. Okay. 
Well, that got me nowhere. How about the other direction, then? Oh, yeah, that worked. Move along the bar and turn around. Um, turn around, use movement keys. How, okay, but how do I, like... How do I turn around on the bar there, game? It just said use movement key. Everything I do just move... Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, now I'm over here. Just turn back around. I don't know how you do it, but there we go. Okay. There we go. All right. So sorry I kept you waiting there, champ. All right. Don't worry. We we made it. Okay. Beam movement. Okay. Easy enough. Sorry, I thought I was gonna throw my weapon at them. Nope. All right, can't can't just snipe them from here. It was worth noting. What he call me? All righty. Give me that. Okay. We're making progress. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. There we go. Nice. You love to see. Okay. Well, you. Don't you? Know. I like that the uh, enemy models have more clothes than last time. She's doing crazy ass jumps over me. Shame it doesn't help though. Like not at all. God damn you. Fuck, all right. Wow. Prince goes hard. So can I pick this up? I cannot pick it. Even though there's a weapon uh, stand right there, can't actually pick it up. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. All righty. This is old hat for the prince at this point. Jump through like horrible, awful libraries to get here. All right, you. I hate you. You and your damn knives that you throw at people. Okay, never mind. <sighs> Going for the curtain then? Yep, okay, made it. Oh no, a new enemy? We've seen you before. I don't know. Harder, Prince. Harder. Um. No. Ow! What the fuck? Stop it! Don't do that. Stop it! All right, well, come on now. I am quite terrible. Do I do I have to, like, jump over her? Is that the thing? Ha-ha! Oh, well. <laughs> wow. That was, uh, was a lot of buildup for one hit to the face, wasn't it? All right, uh, well then. Okay, you... This is a thrilling battle. Oh, finally someone got hit. Shut up. Only applies when the woman isn't actively trying to kill me like that. What the fuck? There's so much pleasure in pain. Why does the time emptress hire like 
men in demon masks and weird dominatrixes. What do you think the casting fucking call for that is like? I'm not here to. And can you die for the love of God? There we go, Jesus. They're tough gals, I'll give them that. Ah, brutal legend. Well, what about it? Jack Black the game. I'm familiar. Again, I'm not really into RTSs, so not my thing. But, you know. There's so much. I liked the writing. Yeah, re rewind back to before she uh attacked me. You. you clearly are. <sighs> Most of the game was like this game, was it? I remember a lot of driving your car around in RTS mechanics, which made me kind of quit the game. Because it was not my thing. Yeah, see, that's a good checkpoint. Um, I know what I'm doing. Yes, this position suits you. Alright, you need to, like... You need to stop it with the innuendos. Travis Touchdown would be weirdly into that, so I'm gonna have to ask you to cool your jets. Can we talk this? Why can't we talk this through? I mean, you have a knife drawn, so I assume you don't want to talk this through. Entirely possible, though, that, you know, I can just stop and have a conversation with you. All right, well. That was that one was my bad. That was on me. Forgot, can't jump over you. I'm not here to hurt you. Right, right, can't jump over you. Still can't. Throw the goddamn weapon at her. Huh. <sighs> RTS was mainly boss in certain fights. Well, yeah, but... It was still a lot more of it than I really wanted it to be. In that I didn't care for it. I don't know what to tell you. I didn't like the RTS elements. I'm aware they weren't, you know, a huge part of the game, but they were still more prevalent than I needed them to be. Good cast. Like I said, good story. Had fun with it. Wouldn't play it again, though. I'm just not an RTS guy. The pain is... Look, if I'm an evil time emptress, hear me out here. I'm an empress on an island all about time and time dimension. If I'm evil, okay, fair enough. I need to hire minions. Sure, that goes with being evil. Uh, Don't hire ones that get off on pain. Because they're the ones that probably aren't going to fight very well and just, like, take a beating. absolutely hire, like, skilled fighters and ninjas and whatnot. Can you die, please? I really don't have the health for this, and you're pissing me off. How much health do you god... Oh. Alright. Cool. I'll take it. Okay, that one's on me. All right, let's do this. Great, great job. Really impressed me there. I was about to kill somebody, all right? I didn't know who. Probably myself. I was about to kill somebody. Nope. 
Nope. Do I drop and then jump? There we go. Whee! Alrighty. Whoo! Okay. Here I was going to wall run. Well, now what the fuck was that, Prince? Uh, you know, at a certain point, Prince, it's not my fault. It's entirely your fault. Well, I don't have any more rewinds. Or milkshake. So, Prince, you better make this one. Oh, there's a... Okay. Okay. Thank you, first person mode. There's a platform right there. Appreciate it. And then... Oh god, roll, roll, roll! Okay, alright, alright. We're all, we're all fine here. We're all friends here. Hey, look at that. Mmm. Tasty, tasty water. You'll love to see it. Okay, alrighty. No threat of losing that progress. Good job. All right. Moving on. Oh, good. It's him again. Or is that a her? That looks like Crowman McCrowface. Very creative when it comes to enemy names. Butt McLadyton and Crowman. Hey! Two butts. All right. You love to see it. Low res polygon. Who are? Who's this woman in red? You The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Thank goodness you took a minute to stop and think about it. Leave her alone. Stupid idiot. You and I have unfinished business. You leave her alone. Next. This fight again. I don't know why he says next like that. Oh. She learned how to get around my blocking. Kicking me in the fucking face. Who'd have thought? You have two choices. Run or die. I am not impressed. Isn't the you have two choices run or die? Wasn't that a line in the first game? Like the vizier said ow. The vizier said that, right? You hate uh Benetta. What's Benetta? I'm not familiar with Benetta. If you're talking about Bayonetta, that's, uh, I mean, very combo-heavy hack-and-slash game. Don't like the kicks. Can't just block anymore. Hey, um, you and your one-track mind really need to, uh, like, find something else to do. Autocorrect. In terms of how long this game take, two or three streams, maybe four. Yeah, that sounds about right. About what I expected. Yeah, I made it. Yeah, quick time events. Why'd they put you in the game? You uh, have no place on this island. I mean, at least it's not a rhythm game. Bayonetta was a, um, like I said, he taunting me? Very combo-heavy, hack-and-slashy, uh, beat-em-up style game. Very Devil May Cry. But with a very different character, I admit. Uh, what didn't you like about Bayonetta? Hate the game because of the camera angles. Ah, well. Eh. What about Bayonetta 2? Did you play that one? Oh, I'm dead. My bad. I don't have any sand either. My bad. Alright, well, that was embarrassing. Kind of thought the sand would come back when I saved the game. It did not. Pro tip. Doesn't do that. Had no reason to think it would. There used to be these points where you could refill sand in Sands of Time. 
They are absent in this, it seems. Which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two scantily clad women fighting for some reason. You know, not to blame the victim, but... Listen, I've got her distracted. Pull yourself the fuck up and help me. Like, what are you doing, lady? Alright, well, what am I doing? Is that the best you have to offer? I like that they both say that. Is this the best you have to offer? It shows how terribly creative they both are when it comes to taunting their enemies. Okay, well, that was the wrong one. Also, a lot of blood on the- Stop taunting. the hell do you get off taunting? You aren't whooping my ass quite that badly, you know. Break urns or something, those give you sand. Oh. Alright. Thank you, I'll remember that. Can you fucking- No, 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 no. Oh. Well, shit. Don't lose those QTEs. I mean, damn. Uh, characters are less than one-eighth of 36 of the screen, and a gamer who has bad eyesight. Well, eh, rhythm game in Prince of Persia would be a weird thing. So it's in the reboot, is what you're saying. Yeah, the, uh, the camera angles. You do get lost in the shuffle in the Bayonetta games. It is all about the spectacle, so everything's larger than life and zooming around. I'll be damned. They are in jars and urns and pots. Look at that. It's like fucking Arg knows what he's talking about. Well, hey, now I've got, you know, one rewind if things go south. You have two choices. Run or die. Okay, ow. All right. Good kick. This woman also looked at me, not this woman, the woman in red, looked at me and said, you there, help me. I could have been on this woman's side. Like, what, what would have happened then? She says, help me. I run over and I'm like, hey, babe, what's up? And then I, you know, help this woman in black here. She taunts me by slapping her butt, too. Very sassy. Not a fan of the, the point to the heavens and scream with your swords attack, though. It's not terribly creative, is it? Yeah, that one. I get that she's trying to impale me in theory, but... Is that the best you have to offer? You think he's throwing the insult back at her? There we go. God damn it. Reboot, thankfully, didn't have, you know, that abomination. That would have been funny. It was a QTE-based rhythm game. Really fucking just let everyone down. I feel like if you're gonna fail, you should fail spectacularly, you know? You have no Weirdly, I could tell she was going to try and kick me. I love when she does that and doesn't even hit me. Like, I've moved to the left, so she's just stabbing the air. Tell me when you're going to be ready to fight for real. I'm winning! Do you, do you not see the health bars? Stop slapping your butt. Don't get me wrong, it's... If you're trying to distract me, it's working, but... You're not following through on the distractions, you're just kind of like... No 
leaving yourself open for attack. As one who slaps their own ass might do, if you can believe it. Still though, impressive kick. You really launch people across the room with that one. Credit where it's due. He says he's not impressed. Don't don't pay attention to the prince. It's a very impressive kick. You could go into Street Fighter with that and give Cammy a run for her money. You call yourself a master swordsman? Do I? Pretty sure I call myself the Prince of Persia. You don't honestly believe it. Ow, again. Thanks for hitting the column. I appreciate it. Okay. Cocky of you. I'm gonna go back to kicking this woman. That's what I was trying to do. How appropriate that I did that while she was, again, smacking her own bootay. Oh, that was that. I hate Persona rhythm games. Oh, the dancing ones? My fiance loves those. The plots are completely insane. What's to hate? I've kidnapped you and your friends in this dimension, and the only way out is defeat me. All right, let's throw down. There's no violence Wait. in this world. You can only defeat me Please. in a dance-off. It's ridiculous. I seek an audience it's so Empress. intentionally stupid. The Empress meets with no one. Who do you think you are? You don't believe I it. Am the Prince of Persia. Uh, reboot fails I spectacularly see. in other aspects. Today is a very important uh, day. She can as a reboot of Prince of Persia games. I don't think you games. understand how this is. I'm Travis. To how are you alive? I ran you through. Cannot change your fate. Oh, now she's dead. Okay, well, what a way to die. Interesting. You cannot change your hey, what happened to the other girl? She's speaking to me. Like from the first How game. She, know my mission? she was funny and had like, you know, good support. She was funny, got along with me, good in combat, dressed sensibly for platforming. Unlike, say, this woman. I will find my way to you. No, Prince. Leave this place and never return. The Empress has no love for the world of men. Wasn't white? She will kill you if she learns of your presence. What, no fucking thank you for the... Alright. Alright, so... I need to get that way somehow. Cool. Sounds... Looks good. Looks and sounds good. What the hell is this? Well, hmm. It's a blood altar, which is extremely concerning. But other than that, I really don't know. Can I push it? It looks like it goes along a track here. Doesn't seem like I can push it. Alright, well, that's... A mystery for later, perhaps. Getting all this fun artwork. Can I look at the artwork, or... No, nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Hmm, so the only way she would know of our mission is if we, for whatever reason, either she is the time cop, like sent by the old man or whatever bullshit, or we meet her later in the game and then she travels back to the beginning of the game to try and stop us. Trying to meet the Empress, though. Uh, what? 
stop the set. What's our bold plan? Like, when once we meet the Empress, we convince her, hey, the Sands are bad, don't make them. How do we return to our time? Rope tutorial. Run up to grab the rope. Okay. While holding... Okay. Oh. Interesting. That's very different. I kind of prefer it, honestly. It's simplified, and it's less likely I'm going to leap to my death doing that. Um, I don't think I just drop down. Do I make a flying leap of faith here? Yo! Okay. Alright, nice. You love to see it! Ah! Okay. Yep. Alrighty. Why did I do this? Can't see a single reason. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Might be something of a reason if I can... Nope. I thought that might go around. Okay. Then what reason? See a. I get here. Hmm. You drop down. That doesn't help. Thank you. Okay. Uh. There's definitely a cable over there that I can get to. Um. You maybe. Okay, all right. There's a ledger some such on the other side. Boy, you know, with the, with the slight delay of the stream and everything, that might be, no offense, Arg, one of the least helpful things you can say in a Prince of Persia game. There's a ledge on the other side or something. Like, yeah, probably. But given how much I move around and the platforming is... Can I not... Okay. All right, listen. If you're gonna act like an asshole again, I won't play you. How's that sound? And okay, well, you know what? That one's on me. Hundred percent on me. All right, game game has spoken. Oh, you won't play me, huh? Yeah, I fucking dare you. Here's a quit screen game. That's what I meant to say. Here's a quit game screen. Where the hell am I? Why Why are you playing this music? There's no combat. I think I went the wrong way. Oh yeah, definitely went the wrong way. There was a rope. Oh. I mean, I'm not complaining. I, it's a good, good little tune, but... Why are we playing this? All the enemies are kaputskis. Epic! Climbing around on architecture! Nathan Drake wishes he was this cool. There's a rope, you say, up here. So there is. You want to run that one by me again? I'll break some jars to have more rewinds here, but... I look forward to understanding what the fuck happened there.
And, whoop, nope, nope. Leap, you son of a bitch. There we go. Okay. Go this way. Swing around. Jump on the lever or some such after the ropey wall run. Well, you see... I don't... I didn't really see a lever, per se. Nope, nope, you fucking asshole. Just climb up the wall. There we go. Yeah, he just kind of, like, jumped to the side, though. Yeah, like, what the fuck? He just, like, runs a bit and jump, like... Do I let go? That's not it. Huh. Oh, use movement to climb the rope. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Actually read the things on the screen there, champ. Okay, yep, alright, you know what? That one's on me. I accept full responsibility for that one. Reading, yeah, I mean, who needs it, really? And now, okay, well... <sighs> Climb the rope. I don't know what they want... Oh, wait. D fucking duh. I don't need the rope after that. Don't know why I thought I did. God damn, I'm a moron. At times. Whee! Alrighty. Uh, well, this one's gonna be risky. Where does it even lead to? Hold on. Oh, hi. Hey, what the fuck? How'd you do that? Oh, what? Bullshit! I was in the middle of, like, doing a cool-ass finisher, and you grabbed me out of the air. You yoinked me, Halo style. Come on, now. There's so much pleasure. You fuck off. So... Oh, when they get sandy like that, you can kind of grab them. Or when I'm stunning them. Interesting. Kick them into other people. <sighs> I don't know what happened there. There's... Her head came off, I know that much. <laughs> I threw her off the cliff. Delightful. Give me that knife. Are you dead or... I'm gonna assume she died. Now then, so in this room... There's you. What does this thing activate? See, I've turned that on. But to what effect? Oh, fuck. Ow. Oh. Really picked the wrong side there. Okay. No idea what that switch activated. I'm sure it's not incredibly important. Vital to my completion of the game. Alrighty then. Gonna, gonna turn you the other way, Mr. Prince. Ah. There we go. Whee! So how far back in time did we go, per se? Because it still seems like relatively the same time period, you know? Uh, well, I don't know what I thought was going to happen there. be 100% honest with you.
there's still people running around with swords. You know, the traps are all the same. I said, I'm the Prince of Persia. And she wasn't like, what the fuck are you talking about? She was like, oh, all right. So at the very least, it seems like it's somewhat modern, for lack of a better word, times for the old prince. All right, that one's on me. I saw the rope. I decided to jump. I don't know why. Let's not ask too many questions about it. This is a bit more complicated than the other one, eh? Okay, alright. I can dig it. Whenever someone says, Whee! I can only think of Rosario Vampire. I mean... I always think of, you know, uh... I can't remember what the joke is specifically. I think it's one in, like, uh... The Season 4. But Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, uh, he has a real, like, borderline iconic... Manga works. Something is wrong. Whee! Or he has, like, whee! Yaw, yeah, horsey! It's, I don't know, that always stuck with me. Well, shit, I thought that would do it. Well, damn, man! Am I not being fast enough for you? Oh, there. Oh, oh, come on. I don't know what they want from me. Couldn't have done it better than that. Oh, wait. There's one here? Oh, is there an order to it? Okay, all right. What are we looking at? That's one. All right, all right. Here's two? No. Sure. I gotta say, I don't think I ever saw Rosario or read Rosario Vampire. So tell us, Dark Flame, uh, why do you think of Rosario Vampire whenever anyone goes, Wee! Alright. Well, that all worked. There we go, okay. Puzzles. Remember there's a Pokemon reference in Rosario Vampire. No, I don't. I never watched Rosario Vampire. I do not know Rosario Vampire. Eye of the Storm! Ahem. Power slows down time and everything except for you. Gain a speed advantage for a few seconds. Tap button 5 to turn it on, and tap button 5 again to turn it off. So I hold button to rewind and tap it to just slow things down. Nice. You'll love to see it. I seem to be back in the present. At least I know how these portals work. Alrighty. Instead of characters saying blasting off again, they say we. Oh shit. Is Team Rocket prevalent in Rosario Vampire? Jesse James and Meowth running around uh, doing whatever it is, I assume vampire things? I have a th Hold on, let me look up which one Rosario Vampire is, because I think I know it, but I can't say for 100% certain. Rosario Dawson, yep, that's who I meant. Vampire. Related to Rosario Vampire. Yeah, it's that one, okay. Yep, never, never really saw that one. I know it's one of those animes that's often talked about for, like, the, uh, the boobs. That's about it really the extent of my knowledge. Okay. Alright, that was unnecessary. Alright, well, try that again. Oh. Boy, these stairs are really, uh, giving me some trouble. Okay. Time power tutorial. Alright. That door's open. And... Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Boy, they are, uh... They're quick. Love is already a vampire for the humor. I might give it a look-see. 
Hello, boys! Bet this works in combat, too. Haha! We. Nice. Takes, you know, time spheres or whatever, but, you know. Is that... Did that open that door? Is that what that did? If I wanted to go back through it, per se. Sure did. All right. So down here, then. Okay. Where are... Oh, fuck. All right. Well, hey, listen. Let's avoid him. New new goal. Stay the fuck away from that guy. Just goddamn flexed and the wall exploded. That is not what I want to be fighting. If you can believe it. Okay. Listen, I don't know where I'm going. Be perfectly honest, I looked around at where I was and I was like, I don't fucking know this way. Turns out, no. Can't even cheese it. Prince of Persia 1 definitely had some delicious cheese. Those, uh, he had some weird floaty jumps. Oh god, I'm back here? Jesus. Alright. Well, I feel like that's unnecessary, but sure. Listen, you. Alright, we're just gonna... Rewind all of this. I screwed it up from the word go. Unrelated note, did you finish Hades fully? Like, all playthroughs to unlock the story. Also, Black Weirdo is Time Guardian and Cop. Oh, damn, that's the guy chasing us? No wonder I want him off my ass. Um, okay, that worked. I meant to do that, obviously. Um, I finished a few playthroughs of Hades. I have not gone and played, like, all 97 or however many you need to do to get the full story or whatever. But I think I've beaten it, like, three or four times by this point. So, I mean, if he had some choice words about it, you know, I'm all ears. No! Oh, shit. I'm the best human ever. Look at that. Oh, shit. Hey, boys. Did you see that wicked sweet roll I did? Oh. Uh. Alright. He wasn't providing me much of anything in terms of, you know, affirmation anyway. Ugh. Yeah, no, okay, when that guy is chasing you, I understand wanting to fucking, you know, be done with this, but... Alright, now look, that was on you. That was perfectly good landing down there, and you decided you were gonna fucking take a pratfall. What the hell was that, Prince? Okay, the game is telling me I can't do that. Understood. Message received. Where do I go, then? And I go, I probably could make that. Alright, there we go. We're on track. Jesus. Well, I mean, look. The rope was right there. How do you miss that, man? Reach to your left. Alright. No excuse. Thank you. I was gonna say, grab the fucking rope. Rotate the camera. There we go. Yo! I guess rotating the camera isn't so bad with the mouse when I can, like, pause what I'm doing and reach over to it. Do you also get the sense that they got sick of finding ways down from things, so they just put in the, uh, curtains every so often? To make it be like, fuck it, there's your way down. Uh, let's see. I could try dropping. 
Could also try leaping over there. I'm gonna try dropping. Nope. Turns out that's too big of a fall. How would you know that? You wouldn't, obviously. One meter? Oh my goodness. My kneecaps are now hugging my ears, by God. Shattered is my spine. No recovering from one meter of falling. So right away, I'll say the game's a little bit more unforgiving with the whole platforming aspect. Not necessarily worse, but it's definitely more strict about what I can and can't do. Because there's no reason that fall should have killed me. There we go. Can you, like... Okay. I can say, just drop down there, friendo. All you need to do. You got this! Uh, oh, fuck. Okay. Fair enough. That one's on me. Okay. Maybe they did. Game making tech is a bit more limited at the time this game was made. How to get more limited than previously? So they probably reused some stuff and set a bit stricter time limits for platforming. Games. Stricter time limits is one thing, but, you know. Help me with this. Really? Did you did the guy I was murdering scream help me with this or did the guy who was watching his friend be murdered scream help me with this? Because either way, it's a silly thing to scream. Okay. This again. Yep, yep, looks in. Sniffs. This game have mystical floor water. Certainly does. No time limits and such. Uh, oh, okay. They were on a more of a crunch, I suppose. Oh. But like Prince of Persia one, or I say one, Sands of Time, didn't really have the curtain mechanic. Everything was kind of laid out. It'd be riots if there were no floor water. <laughs> the people would not be silenced. I don't, if it did, I don't remember it, but Prince of Persia 1, I don't really remember having a, and now here's a curtain to just slide down. Like, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but Prince of Persia 1, all the platforms, like, they were a maze. You could climb them up or down in any direction. Here, once I hit the curtain, there's no coming back up. It's curtains for me. It really exists, I think, as just a way to, like, lower me quicker from place to place. Anyway, yeah, made it somehow. Wee. Well, someone's Let's fighting me. Why? Who? Oh, hey, boys. Um, listen, not to be rude, but um, how do I get over to you? Is that a thing I can leap to? I think it is. I might be able to leap to there and start the fight. Let's do it. All right, that's safe. How could you tell? Tell me when you're going to be ready to fight for real. Well, gee, what the hell was that, Prince? Oh, that'll do ya. Ooh! Nasty two-hit combo there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're turned on by pain or some bullshit, right? What a great time to slow down. Doop, doop, doo, loop, doo, loop, doo, loop, doo, doo. I do like that I can just, like, quickly circle them. Oh, 
What happened there? You call yourself a master. Yeah, I certainly do. Yeah, yeah, there's pain. Jesus. Oh my god. Can you stop juggling me and just die for the love of <sighs> Hey, when do the Prince of Persia games get a lock on? Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. I actually got a rewind from her death. Is it enough? Weirdly, it's enough to, like, get me to the point before I killed her and got the rewind. Which doesn't seem right, you know? I'm just saying. There we go. Cut that bitch in half. Oh my god. Made some workarounds for stuff in Sands of Time. Oh, for god's sakes! I'd like to run, actually. Bye. Oh, hey, cutscene. Word of Thing is playable on smartphones. Really? Never got a lock on if memory serves. Oh, good. Why, why would a game need a lock on like this? Oh, the fucking wall jumping's vastly improved. Like, oh my god. I can do it now. Accurate wall jumping? In Prince of Persia? Surely you jest. Someone's been a very good boy this Christmas, apparently. Accurate wall jumping. Fates have truly blessed me on this day. Alright, we're absolutely saving. Because I ran from the fight like a coward. And I want that on my permanent record. Are there crates we can smash? Nope. Alright, bye. Surely the Forgotten Sands had a lock on. That was made like in 2008. That was the era of that sort of game. Dahaka, it has found me here. Hi. Bye. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit a roly. That wasn't what I needed to do. Well. <laughs> Great job, Prince. Hey, if you don't start working with me when I tell you to do things, that's gonna keep happening. Okay, well, we've entered a chase segment. It could be worse. There were like, I remember in Jack 2, there was like a big old chase segment. Weirdly, uh, Ratchet and Clank 3 did this as well, I think. Um, it's like second person. So I'm watching myself through the eyes of the thing I'm running away from. Which, God, that was awful. Oh, hi. Listen, when I said the thing was awful, I didn't mean you, Sunshine. I meant another thing. Wow. Wow. Not one to just, you know, hang around, are you there? Jesus. I ain't forgotten Sansa's lock on if memory serves. Wow. Well, the reboot sucks, but, you know. Hack and Slashy Combat was at, like, its height when that game came out. That was, like, the God of War era. That was Dante's Inferno, which was just God of War. That was... Bleh. Devil May Cry. I guess those are a little bit before... Excuse me, 2008. Prince. <laughs> When I hit the button to wall run, Prince, here's the thing. It's not a suggestion. It's what I expect you to do. Now, when I hit it as well, I don't mean like, you know, in about five seconds bef after I've hit it. You know, I mean when I hit it. I need you to be responsive with me. That was great. You did exactly what I needed you to. More of that, please. And we'll get along fine, Prince. Oh boy! He is always not happy to see me. 
Wee! 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 Am I good? Oh, fuck me. Am I good? Nope, sure am not. Keep going, huh? I, am I good? I might... I guess I'm... Hello? Am I... Are you... Okay, no, I'm good. Cool. Bust these barrels. See if there's any shinies in them. Not a one. Cool, thanks. So what happens if I... Nothing. Okay. Weird. The way the lighting was like all sepia tones and whatnot, I thought he was still pursuing me. Hey, buddy! I'm sorry, were you about to say something? Very rude of me. Okay, I'll just drop down. Um, okay, I'll keep dropping down. That was a mistake. It didn't have a ledge, so I thought that was the way I had to go. That's still not the way I have to go. Alright. I have no idea where I need to go. Boy, you know, maybe I don't remember it per se, but uh, I feel like Sands of Time was a little bit better about telling me where I had to go. There's one part I can remember that was particularly obnoxious. Towards the end of the game, it was pretty not great about pointing me in the right direction. But, you know, for the first part of the game, I thought it was, er, it was pretty good. This is less good. Everything's darker now, and it's hard to see where the ledges are. How is this town? You didn't even give me a rewind that time. Give me that. Want that axe. Okay. Now then. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Yep, that's on me. Just, they're assuming I'm using the camera like a normal person. Silly game. I'm not doing that. Okay. I need to get down there. All right, all right. I see some curtains over there. I can probably... Yeah. Ho! All right, that was style points. Real nice if you'd give me some Sanzo time there, guys. Was I in this room? There we go. I feel like I was in this room. This pot. Alright, I was gonna say, whoever made that pot, give that guy a promotion. I feel like I was definitely in this room at one point. Don't I need to uh, go. Where am I going? Like right there. Hmm. Okay. Nope, that's not it. Hmm. Nope. Certainly not. Hmm. Need to get over there. Hmm. Not there. Can't bust the window open. Hmm. The door requires a seal. I don't even know how I get up at this point. I mean, it's this, but, you know. I go the wrong way, perhaps. Is there more going on than meets the eye here? Up above. Well, that lets me go. Ah, wait a minute. I see. Okay. Aha! I'm just. Oh, great. Hi. Shit. Oh, well, what do you want from me? I got stuck on a wall, man. Goddamn Tattoo Minotaur. Jesus. 
Okay, yeah, I got it. He murdered me. That's what I get for messing with the space-time continuum. Sexy tattooed minotaurs come after me. So, you know, call it a... Call it a win-lose situation. God, I'm all the way back here. At least I know where to go, so... I'm also gonna go ahead and assume that guy is immune to, uh... Time travel shenanigans. What with being a fucking time cop? Call it a hunch. Anyway, okay, so... Hey, I'm aware, thank you. Can't skip this for whatever dumb reason. But hey. Like I said, at least now I know what I'm doing. Backflip for style. Pick up this cool weapon. Looks like a war pick. Nice. Check for sands, because I desperately need them. Immune to time-related shenanigans. Well, that's just peachy. There we go. Alright. So now then, back up here we go. Okay, all right, all right. We run along here. And then we drop down. I missed. Well, I mean, now I just feel like I'm being rude to the Minotaur. He shows up for this big, exciting chase sequence, and I fall and break my neck. Oh, Lord. I am terrible. Take the axe, though. That's a nice weapon. Okay. Alrighty. For some reason, this has taken me more tries than is... I'm gonna assume expected, allotted, prepared for by the developers, that sort of thing. be interesting mechanic wise if um, this uh, this palace I'm running around in like I keep coming back to but with new powers to go in different directions that would be uh, that'd be interesting very ahead of its time if it did that I don't think that's going to be the case but I'm just kind of speculating that I mean I was here before and now I have different powers and they brought me back here so might be kind of cool I miss the old exploration games that were like that. One big hub you got more access to because you were more skilled and better at the game. Okay, here's where you want to drop. It was funny watching my body just, like, fall, flail, like a very sad person. Oh, hi! You're closer than I would like you to be. Well, if you can just do that. Oh, you don't like water, do ya, Wicked Witch of the West, son of a bitch? This is certain to come in handy. Floor water, now more powerful than ever. One of those old exploration games, partly at least. Nice. I like traipsing back through the areas I've been with new powers. Not exactly Metroidvania style, but, you know.
more of like, here's... They buffed the water. Yeah. Water apparently needed a buff. It stopped sexy minotaur men. I have managed to lose the Dahaka. For now. So how come the time cop can't follow me into the past? He always does. It's a fucking time cop. Surely following me into the past is kind of its thing, right? Well, now I'm on this side. Oh, hey, buddy. What are you doing? What kind of beast is this? Ugh. Whoa. All right. Thanks for the axe. I'm going to assume you were giving that to me. And that you weren't, you know, trying to kill me. I can't find the axe. All right. Maybe in that case, he might have been trying to kill me. He was just like, here, take this. Very aggressive about it, though. He will. Give it some time. Great. Freaking time cop and their time cop abilities. All right, one of these pillars is the way forward. Which one is it? Uh, is it you? Yeah. Well, I mean, it might have been. Hold on. What was that? Okay, no, it wasn't. Bouncing around the ceiling at that point. I have full time anyway. I'm more than good. Okay. Uh. As soon as I'm up here, he storms in through the door. Although it seems like I can at least try and lose him by doing things like hiding behind rubble and shit. So maybe if he can't see me, he uh, doesn't find me. Oh, well, come on now. No! I don't feel like doing that all again. So let's just do that. Whee! I already took the upper path. That was like the optional health. Ow! Upgrade. Something I clearly need because I'm just, you know, so good at running into blades and whatnot. Feel free if I'm going the complete bumfuck wrong way to point out, hey, you're going the wrong way, moron. Message will be received and I'll take it to heart. That said, not if I'm just, you know, exploring around, but, you know, like... Right now, for example. Okay, hi. Cool. Guy went down easy. Okay, we're back here, I guess. Now I can slow down time. Run while you still can. I can smell your fear from here. Seems like I do more damage as the combos go on. I also like the body slice in half much nicer. The game ain't an open world RPG, mate. You have to try hard to go the wrong way. Well, whenever I'm backtracking, uh, there's a part of my brain that's like you're doing the wrong thing. Like, we've been here before, we've done this. My brain is saying, hey, you know, maybe there's another exit you're supposed to be looking for rather than traipsing around in the area you've already been. But I mean, hey, you know, if they made it fairly linear, albeit backtracky, then by all means, I'll play along. Okay, that happened. Okay. We're back here again. That door is still open, which is nice, I guess. I can just go then? Destroy 
Fight you. Give me your weapon. Oh, I don't think it let me steal the weapon. Oh, that one let me steal its weapon. Nice. There's a lot of back and forth backtracking in this particular Prince of Persia, mostly because you travel through time. Yeah, but I don't like backtracking, so what are you gonna do? Yeah, oh, well, shit. Can I just jump to you? Be real nice if I could just, you know, jump to you. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, can't say I like backtracking. Now, that is different from going through old areas to unlock new places. If you're in, like, a big old room where you can get out of here by dodge rolling, double jumping, and, I don't know, wall running, but you only have the dodge roll available to you at the beginning of the game, and then as you go, you unlock things like the double jump and the uh, wall jumping, then, yeah, I like that, you know? Go back and uh, see how you've improved. Here's a showcase of our abilities and the game mechanics. Doesn't really- ow. Other than testing my ability to not get hit by obvious traps, which is clearly lacking, it doesn't really seem like it's testing that. It's just like, hey, do this puzzle again. It's like, I did it already. Yeah, but do it again. This one is somewhat new. I don't recognize this one, however. Why do you exist? That's... That might get me to where I need to go. Then again, so might this. Well, no. Alright. I guess I'll try here! Whee! Ah, I see. Okay. This feels new. I don't remember this. Oh, come on! You nicked my pinky toe, so he decided I need to let go and fall to my death. You know what I'd do? Suck it up. I'll have another pinky later. On my other foot. Right before I destroy the sands of time, I'll get my toe back. How's that sound, Prince? Come on. Okay. So what game do they program him to stop getting caught on corners of things so obnoxiously and egregiously? Because that happened in Sands of Time, and it's delightful to see my old friend The Corner, you know, returning to this game to trip me up some more. That one's entirely my fault. Won't blame the game on that one. That was a timing puzzle that I mistimed. Yeah, the game sure loves to throw the prince in a corner and for him to be like, my god, this is the most amazing corner I've ever seen. Traps really had you with that one. Again, that one was my fault. It, okay, all right, all right. We're fine, we're fine. I made it work. Ah, uh, there we go. I said, there we go. Definitely dodge rolled, but let's pretend I didn't. Builds drama, am I right? Well, now, what'd you put the ladder there for, guys? Obviously, someone was gonna figure that one out. Whee! Okay. 
Well, this is new. Oh, hey, it's you again. This is a dangerous place. You should not have come. Terrible back. camera. Don't have the luxury. I must see the Empress. Uh, impossible. My mission. It is very urgent. I must see her. You don't understand. When the last grain falls from this hourglass, the Empress will create the sands of time. No business of yours could be more important than that. I have come to stop the Empress from creating the sands. Huh, then yours is a fool's errand. The creation of the sands was foretold in the timeline. It cannot be stopped. I just saved your life. Twice. Did he? All I'm asking for is some information. I can think of one. Tell me where the sands will be created. In there. But the room has been sealed. You cannot enter. There must be a way. Ha! You'd have to undo the very fortifications of the castle. An impossible task. When a man is faced with his own death, he finds the impossible less of a barrier. Tell me how. She's awful accommodating, isn't she? Also, the she's obviously the Empress, but, you know, let's pretend we would be surprised by that plot twist. Tower. Even assuming you can reach the device and activate it, the machine still needs power. As water passes through the moat, the machine will receive power. But first... I've been betrayed by floor water? Supply in the garden tower. Activate both towers, and the door will open. Okay. You'll need this. Thanks. I don't you need something it's more or? than just a weapon. It, it also serves to activate a system of bridges which will grant you access to the other towers. Oh. It won't make a difference though. Then why give Great PC port. Ahem. So she, again, she's clearly the Empress. I got the Serpent's Horse. It's very special sword. It serves as a key and lets you perform more powerful combos. That's a four-button combo. All right. Just mash X. Hiya! Oh, can I not? All right, I can't kill her. I suppose that would be awkward, what with her having just helped me. She's very accommodating for somebody who's like, you can't do it, it's impossible, yours is a fool's errand. Just tell me how. Yeah, all right, sure, here's how you do it. Why didn't she just tell me to fuck off? The throne room is so close, and yet I cannot reach it from She's helpful, but for a good reason, which will become apparent way. later. Hmm. Well, she's either the Empress. I, I actually wanted to say there, I hit up, but, you know, let's, let's all pretend I didn't. Ahem. She's either the Empress or secretly the bad guy. And her line of, ah, it's a fool's errand, you'll never make it, was to test my willingness or resolve, I suppose. Or, what the fuck? Or, is this what you need for the water sword? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, sure seems it. Well, I found one of them. Uh, cool. Obviously, I meant to do that. Anyway. Oh, right. Uh, I, uh, I need to leave the room. I've probably missed one by now, unfortunately. See ya, bitch. <laughs> Thanks for the sword. Later. Oh. Alright, that's a lot of health, game. Water sword, because this game is all about water. It seems to me. Alright, gotta head back. Whoa! I'm alive. You know, that did less damage than one swinging sword hitting me in, like, one-tenth of my knee. Ew. Ah, that's why that exists. Got it. Okay. Alright, that all makes sense. Missed more than one at this point, probably. You don't know, Arg? Well then, Jesus. We're all doomed. Dodge roll works, at least, you know, when I remember to hit it. Just gonna lay here for a little bit. <sighs> okay. See, I was fine with that, because I knew there was this fountain right here. Like, you know what? 
Just gonna wait a hot second. Ah. Uh. Well, then we won't get the good ending. I'm not terribly concerned about it. It seems like it would take a lot of work. And you're dealing with a guy that just did that, all right? Were you expecting the good ending from this playthrough? When you said there was an item I needed, I thought you meant like, ah, oh, there's a an alternate path you can take that's full of hard challenges and it's cleverly hidden and that sort of thing. But they're all back? That's not fair. They were all dead. Oh, damn. Never mind. Kills him real well. Alright, that was easy. None survive. You can always just look it up like we had to for no more heroes. Uh what? What did we look up for no more heroes? If you're referring to the boss battle I never beat. The good ending. Oh. Eh. Yeah, sure, I'll look up the good ending on YouTube after I beat this game. That's fair. And then after this game, a nostalgia trip for me as I play a game from my childhood that I haven't touched in years and always kind of wanted to play on YouTube, but, you know, then I just never did. Ooh. All right. Nice. I gotta get up there now. I see. But how do I do that? How do I even begin to do that? Over here, I imagine. That makes sense. Yes. That was less... Okay. Ahem. Well, I mean, I didn't die that time, so I feel less stupid. Still pretty dumb, though. Oh, here? Is it here? Yeah, it's probably here. Okay. Nope, still no, huh? All right, well... Uh, it's here somewhere, I'm sure. No? Shockingly, trying the same thing I already did didn't work. Crazy. Huh. I go back this way? Well, no. That's... Well, I mean, there are enemies there. Hold on. Can you do me a favor and hit that guy? Ah. No dice. Aha! Oh, he just spawns in. Alright. Whatever. Uh... That's the thing. It opened, like, a bunch of... God, why is it inverted? Um, where did it open those? I'd open them all up over here. Been a little while since I played this game. My memory of all the stuff related is a bit foggy, including about the upgrades. Also, I can just tell you what the good ending is, like having one of the sword changes only ending and nothing else. I mean, I still want to see the cutscene for it on YouTube. So what sword allow you to spawn floor water? And by only ending, I mean stuff after the final boss fight. Eh. Let me, uh... I'll probably look it up on YouTube. I can go this way. Interesting. Why can I go this way? Uh-huh. No, seriously, why can I go this way? Is this a thing that I can do? Well, shit, I got rid of my weapon. Yeah, I may need that, Prince. What the hell were you thinking? I was trying to drop down from the ledge. Well, the fiddled sticks. Can I rewind to when I had my weapon? Because it turns out going that way was meaningless. Nope, sure can. Weapon's gone forever. Cool. Hey, runs up there. Okay, so that's how I get out of here if I fall and fuck it up. But this seems like where I start, you know? Maybe this side? Like, this rock face? No? What the hell? Gone forever like the stick. Well, eh. Oh, there is some stuff over there, it looks like. I don't know how I get there. Hmm. You mean the mortal blade? Ah, yes, of course. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I 
I could try backtracking. There's an enemy there, so maybe he knows the way. That seems unlikely, though, doesn't it? Well, give me your weapon at the very least. Wouldn't mind it. Ew! By wall jumping and stuff. Oh! Okay. Right, wall jumping. Kind of forgot that was a thing for a second. Clearly. This... Sands of Time had god-awful wall jumping, so... The fact that wall jumping actually matters now is a novel and fresh concept to me. One I'm, you know, not opposed to, but it's new. That and the game's usually been pretty good about sending me a tutorial of like, hey, wall jump here, you goddamn idiot. No, I still don't see where I need to wall jump. I thought if I ran back, it'd be like, ah, wall jumping. You see water in the distance. Well, yeah. There's always water in these games. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd see a spot where it's like, oh, clearly I wall jump here. No dice. In fact, less dice. Run on the first. Oh. Oh, God. You mean like that? Is, that? is that what I was meant to do there, Arg? Like that? I don't, I don't think that's progress at that point. Do you still want me to... Oh, for God's sakes, they do. All right. Die in three hits. The fools. Hiya! Alright, well, that just kind of annoyed one of them. He sounds like Claptrap. A little bit. That's the voice. The guy screaming in his weird, like, clearly pitch shifted voice sounds a little bit like Claptrap from Borderlands. If that tickles your fancy, you can wall jump like that. When in doubt, drink water. I mean, good advice, honestly, but... <sighs> not, this, not this time, it seems. Alright, so I climb up here. Okay. I wall run. I actually wait until the appropriate mo- Alright, I'm sure the game meant for me to catch that wall and not the one below me. Uh, okay. Shh. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> it's offense. Ow. Fuck you, buddy. You are pissing me off. Nice. That's great. The whole being split in twain is goddamn rad. I'm so glad they improved the combat. Little things like that go a long way, don't you know? Uh, can I just... Jump up, Prince. Thank you. Jeez. All I wanted. That chest. It also looks like there's something over there. But, man, fuck it. Oh, it might be health, though. Wait, I missed it. How can he use the sands without the fancy dagger, or does he have it? I don't think he has the dagger anymore. I think he can just use the sands now. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that arc, but I think, yeah, he can just use the sands now. He still needs to, you know, charge it up and everything, but he can just, like, kind of pop it off. There's nothing over here. Ah. Uh, okay. Tell where this is going. Yeah, he just can. Yep, no more dagger. It's just, I can do that now. I swear that was how you did that. Okay, there we go. Alright, turn around. How can you use the sands when they don't even exist yet? Uh, he brought them with him to use. Naturally. Besides... Of course he's using the sands. That's how he came back in time. Keep up, Arg. Sorry. Keep up, 7-9. I always mix you two up. It's probably your incredibly similar names. One of you is light green and the other is dark green. In my chat, anyway. 
might be different in stream. I've noticed there's some color discrepancy from time to time. No! Alright, I, mean, I meant to slow time once I hit the button there. Okay, alright. For real this time. We are completely different. Personality? Yes. Color of name? No. One of us is lime green, the other one's forest green. Obviously. What's wrong with you? Well, he is on the time island where time doesn't work as a linear thing. Ah, well, there's also that. I'm on Time Island. The hot new reality show. Starry Yuring Lowenthal and Rowan Atkin so Downs. Babylon is not the only place to discover the wonders of Hanging Gardens. Ours, however, do not provide sanctuary to monsters. Attack him now! Well, we got new guys and some new music. No time for this. Hell yeah. Behold your future. <laughs> Get fucked. Hope you like water, champ. I need your sword. Oh, you kept it, you son of a bitch. Thanks for the sword. <laughs> Took it that time. Smash him with a hammer! I don't have a hammer. No hammer to be seen. Crows! I grow tired of this. Yeah, I also have no idea where I'm supposed to go at this point. The music suggests I'm still fighting someone. Platform, a door. Oh, for God's sakes, crows. Ew. Get fucking. You. For, nah. God. Alright. Well. This room looks like it's gonna be a whole big mystery. A mystery I'll be solving tomorrow. Where's the door to. What the door I came from? Nope. Uh. Right, over here. Oh, I took the ladder. Yeah, right. Guess I could try going this way. Is this the way I go? Whatever, I'm solving it tomorrow. Smash him with Suichi's poison. That's not how poison works. Ah, uh, right. That's it for today's stream. I'm enjoying this. It's definitely... It's definitely more fun to play than Sands of Time, but I will say I liked Sands of Time a little bit more for what it was doing. There's a plate on the wall somewhere. I'll remember that, Arg. But yeah, no, I'm definitely enjoying this game. Uh, until tomorrow, I have crumbs all the fuck over me. I wonder where they came from. Talk to later, shrewd negotiators, and I will uh, see you tomorrow. Be beautiful people. Remember things day to day. <laughs> Unhurt. I'm gonna come back and be like, where the fuck am I? Where? Is, how do I? Is it a lever that opens this door? Thanks for telling me. There's things below the stream. Uh, yeah, it's called your desk because you're watching this on a computer monitor. Anyway, I need to Alt Tab to end the stream, which means uh, you're gonna see my Steam overlay. Heaven forbid! Oh God! Oh no, you see the. Oh, it was the image, and then it's Prince of Persia Warrior Within. Toodle pip.